Hi, my name is Soy. Welcome back to my channel. So today I want to make a copycat dish from um, Manila, Philippines. The dish's name is uh, adobo chicken from a restaurant called Adobo Queen. The three major ingredients is soy sauce, vinegar, and garlic. The rest of them just to be on the side, that's all. So a friend of mine, um, I'm not Filipino, and a friend of mine was from Philippines and she used to work at a Adobo Queen. And I watched her cook this dish multiple times with pork, chicken, beef. So I learned how to cook this dish. That's why I wanted to do a, a, a copycat. So I have two pieces of thigh and um, two piece chicken breast. And you need to marinate the chicken for four hours up front. So after you put those in the pot, you need a cup of soy sauce. About a quarter cup. cup. Soy sauce per each piece of chicken. And I use up the entire bottle of Maggie. Maggie is a Filipino favorite soy sauce. Had a very aromatic, very strong flavor. And also, they also use this coconut vinegar. And um, I was surprised they even sell it in the store. So it's equal amount of the soy sauce and vinegar. The vinegar is going to help tenderize the chicken. So after you put those in, and you also need oyster sauce. The oyster sauce, you don't need as much as the soy sauce and the vinegar. You need half cup. So you have you need half cup of oyster sauce. This brand is the best. It's kind of hard to pour out. And you need four pieces of bay leaf. You also need some peppercorn. And this is a teaspoon. You need four teaspoons of peppercorn. So in a sense that it's really easy to memorize it. Uh, a quarter cup of vinegar and soy sauce per each piece of chicken. So since I have four pieces, and then quarter cup times four equal to one. And um, for the oyster sauce, you reduce half of the amount. So instead of one cup, you use half cup. And the peppercorn is one, one teaspoon each. And you also need garlic. I have about, uh, for each piece of chicken, I have two piece, two, gar two cloves of garlic. So to here, I have total eight cloves of garlic. So I'm going to chop them and then put it in there. So here's a four, uh, eight cloves of garlic chopped, and you put it in there also. It, it has a very strong garlic flavor. So you let it marinate for four hours. So it's only 12 right now, and I will start cooking around three. And you, all you need to do is cook them for 45 minutes. Just boil them in the same sauce for 45 minutes. So right now, just let all the stuff marinate and ma let them be happy. So I, love, I want you to see the whole final product and you may want to use your hand to mix them well. The chicken, it's been marinated in the adobo sauce. So right now I turn the stove on to high heat, bring it to boil, then reduce to simmer, let it cook for 45 minutes. It is four o'clock exactly. So I will let it slowly cooking for 45 minutes. Uh, let's let it bring it to boil first. The chicken stopped boiling, so I'm going to reduce heat to simmer to let it um, slowly cook for 45 minutes and cover it. Just let it slowly cook. So I give the um, sauce a little taste. It's a little bit missing something. So I add about a teaspoon, two teaspoons of sugar um, to see how it tastes. And somehow the sugar, it's hanging on the chicken. So I'm going to swell it to mix the, so this. let me give it another taste, see how it Need a little bit more sugar. Three, four. 
So I gave total one teaspoon per each piece of chicken. And hopefully this time the taste will be a little bit adjust to it. Because when you cook soy sauce, it had a tendency it will turn to had a little tart taste in it. It's ripe, so you need to add a little sugar in it to adjust the taste. And I have about 15 more minutes to go. So the chicken has been done cooking. Um, I'm going to take them out from the sauce and debone them. It's pretty much fall apart, the meat. But it's hot, so I can use my hand to approach to the chicken and just let the chicken cool a little bit because right now it's just, just too hard to manipulate so remove the skin and big hung of breast meat kind of break them apart like this let me show you how it should serve. It's served with white rice. White rice. And with some meat on the side. And if you want sauce, and just drizzle over the chicken. Also a little bit on the rice. Just enough. And bon appetit. Here's the chicken adobo with white rice. If you like what you see, please subscribe my channel, give me a thumbs up, provide some comment. Thanks for watching.